जय हिंद Good afternoon. My name is George Dodd. I'm the executive officer of the California State Athletic Commission. I'd like to welcome Zufa, the UFC, back to California. Yeah. The home of the MMA. Yeah. And for the citizens of San Jose, I appreciate you bringing such a great card to this great city. We love you, Dana! Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Dana White, president of the UFC. Finally, we're here. Fuck yeah! <laughs> Good to say it better myself. So you know what's going on here. We're excited to be here. It's the first time we've ever come to this arena. We'd like to thank everybody for making this happen. Uh, thank you, the fans, for turning out today. We put together a great card. I know you were sweating the main event after we put the big boys on box. But I told you, we deliver. We always deliver. And, and this card is stacked. Not only with, with great fighters, uh, but with some legends here. I'm going to get right into it like I always do. Who's got the first question? Pick the Meltzer, yeah. Come on, Meltzer. Let's do it. Kick it off. Come, what's your thoughts as far as um, fighting in the UFC for the first time and then fighting uh, Vanderlei as compared to fighting Vitor? I'm very honored to be fighting for the UFC, and I'm very excited to be fighting Vanderlei. Um, either Vitor or Vanderlei um, wouldn't have made a difference. I would have been... Just as, just as excited for either one of them. Hey, Dan. Over here. Hey, how are you? Good. Mark Evans from Mercury News. Can you talk a little bit about how you put together this this matchup after? Kane Which one? Was, both of them. After Kane went to uh, the Fox, just the thought process of getting this uh, matchup together. Yeah. Well, you know, we we were we had been in negotiations with Henderson anyway. Showdown won that fight down in Brazil. And, you know, a, a fight between two legends that have never fought each other, which is crazy. Oh, both being in the same weight division, both having fought in pride. Uh, it, it was the fight that made sense. <clears throat> never. Yeah. Well, Kung Lee and I have been talking for a long time, you know, about fighting. He wanted to take some time off. He was filming a couple movies. And, uh, you know, I, I wanted him in the UFC for a while. And, and, and seriously, it just happened. He called, and, and we ended up doing the deal. Yeah, it, it, it just worked out that way. Obviously, who's supposed to fight Vitor Belfort? Vitor got hurt, and Vanderlei uh, still wants to continue fighting, wants to stay in the UFC, so we're giving him this opportunity against Kung Lee. Dan, back here. Yep, hey. Eric Fontanez, MMAWeekly.com. Um, how excited are you if you could tell us uh, for having Dan back in the UFC for a third time? Yeah, you know, Dan and I, uh, you know, Dan and I get along just fine. We cut heads here and there, but, but we get along great. I respect him as a fighter. He's a durable, tough guy who's been out there, uh, you know, beating the best in the world. And, you know, I can't hate him for knocking Fedor out either, so. Yeah. <laughs> Good, and Dan, if you can just share with us uh, your excitement or how could you feel being back in the UFC? Uh, you know, I guess it's a little bit ironic that, you know, every time I win a title somewhere, Dana has to buy the company to get me back. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I'm, I'm excited, and, you know, the best matchups for me, you know, are here in the UFC worldwide, and just to, to get competition against the top guys in the sport. I mean, you know, Strike Force uh, has a number of guys that are tough. I, I felt like I, I fought, you know, some of the tougher guys over there. And, and you know, my last one with Fedor, you know, beyond that, you know, I wasn't excited about anybody coming up that, that I might be fighting other than the guys that were going to be in the UFC. So, you know, it, it was a good timing, I guess, that uh, that he came up and, and swooped, swooped up Strike Force again. So. I'm excited. And you talk about the, uh, the best fights. Um, are they only a middleweight, or are you considering doing a double duty with the 205 and the 185 in the UFC? Uh, you know, I prefer to fight light anyway. And, and, you know, it, it's just uh, I'm not fond of cutting weight anymore. And, and, but there's, there's only one fight that I'd probably fight at, at 185. 
and he won't fight right now, I guess. And who was that? That's Anderson. <laughs> Daniel, was that a uh, serious consideration for uh, for Dan's return fight? Yeah, I, I mean, obviously, you know, uh, a rematch with uh, with Anderson and Henderson would be an interesting fight, so we'll see what happens. Got to be Shogun first, and then we'll figure it out from there. <laughs> Time, can you guard me, Saucy? Can you talk a little bit about getting back into the cage and, and getting away from acting, I guess, for a little while? Well, uh, I actually learned my lesson the first time when uh, I came back against Scott Smith. Uh, I wasn't very um, busy training. When I was on the movie set, I was just more focused on getting into character, but the second time around, after I beat Scott Smith and I was doing some film work, I made sure I trained every day. Um, and uh, I, I stayed in shape, and when I came back, uh, you know, to the states, I got right back in the gym the the following week. So I've been I've been training since February. So uh, I'll be ready to go here. Uh, I'm up again. All right, uh, Vanderlei. Um, after your last fight, a lot of people talked about if you were at the end of your road and. If you were truly going to retire or continue fighting, what motivated you to come back and take this fight against a, a competitor like Hung Lee? Oh, I, um, I love fight, no? I can I don't know. Uh, I love the sport. I, I grew up inside the, the ring, inside the octagon. And I want to fight in how long I can. <laughs> and then for, Sh for Shogun, if I could, um, Dan Henderson obviously is coming off a pretty big win. And uh, obviously, he's a game opponent. How how tough of a fight do you think this is going to be for you? Obviamente, o Dan Henderson está vindo de uma grande vitória contra um oponente top. É, como você considera que vai ser o tamanho dessa luta, a importância e a, a dificuldade dessa luta para você? Bem, eu acho o Dan Henderson um, um ótimo atleta. Eu acho que desde a época do Pride, ele está se desponta, se mantendo no topo. Eu acho que todo mundo que acompanha desde a época do Pride é uma luta que todos queriam ver, né? É, eu vim de lá também, então somos dois atletas que, que estamos lutando para o nosso objetivo, que é o cinturão, então com certeza estamos no topo e, e com certeza todos os fãs querem ver muito. Então eu fico muito feliz por essa luta, eu sei que vai ser muito difícil, mas muito que eu queria muito. Well, Dan Henderson is a top fighter and has been a standout for very long ever since the Pride Days. Uh, that was a fight that the fans wanted to see back in Pride and didn't happen back then, so I'm very happy that. Uh, this fight is coming along now. I'm sure it's going to be a crowd pleaser, and uh, we're fighting for our goal, which is to reach uh, the light heavyweight belt again. So it only makes sense to fight the toughest guys, and Dan Henderson is a, a top fighter. Thank you for that, and one for Kung Lee finally. Um, uh, how much does it mean to you to, to finally fight in the UFC and to do so in front of the home crowd in San Jose? It really means a lot. I've fought on many platforms and different styles, uh, but being uh, a UFC fighter now and being the co-main event um, definitely is a dream come true. Um, I, just earlier this morning, uh, I was looking at the picture where I was in the refugee camp, and now being the co-main event in uh, UFC, it's a, uh, it's like you know, it's, it's a dream come true. So I'm very excited, and I'm gonna be, uh, I'm, I'm gonna be ready to uh, rock and roll and give the fans what they want to see. Yeah, yeah. Vanderlei, yeah. I mean, when you come into this fight, do you feel that your back is pretty much against the wall based on you know what's happened in your recent fights and what Dana said? If you, uh, oh, your back. Do you feel like your back is against the wall, and then how does the pressure affect you? Yeah, some 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 guys fight better in that position. I'm thinking. I am one of the guys. <laughs> Any other questions? It's the fastest press conference in history. Pass it out to the fans. Let's get the fans out. So, oh, wait, we got to start right here with the hat right here, and then we'll get the fans. Daniel, uh, will uh, Koscheck fight on this card? Huh? Koscheck. Fans were asking me that earlier. I don't know. We'll see if he wants to fight Fitch. They can both fight. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, 
Have you talked to both of them about that fight? Are they both interested in competing in San Jose against each other? Uh, Koshek told me that he wants to fight in San Jose. I, 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 I haven't heard yeah. you guys know. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, give it to some fans. Hi, Dan. How you doing? Earlier, good, thank you. You said that Kung had called you about getting back into the UFC. Kung, was that specifically because the fight was in San Jose? Is that why you made the call? No, um, I just want to fight the UFC, whether it's uh, in San Jose or somewhere else. But being in San Jose makes it even more uh, exciting, and that's what I wanted. After I found out that you know UFC is coming to San Jose. Thank you. <clears throat> uh, my question is for Shogun. Uh, Shogun, have you considered dropping down to 185 and making a run for the title there as well? Você já levou em consideração descer para a categoria de baixo, 84 quilos, e tentar como fazer um, uma campanha para conquistar o cinturão lá? Não, nunca pensei, acho que eu não conseguiria, acho que meu peso não é 104, 105 quilos. E nunca pensei, acho que uma coisa que não, nunca pensei e não, não vejo assim, eu nessa categoria. Não, eu nunca pensei sobre isso, eu nunca pensei sobre isso, porque o meu peso natural é em torno de 225, 230. So it would be too hard to drop, and I never really gave any serious thought into that. I don't think I would be able to. Hi, David. My name is Jason. I'm from Sacramento. Hey, yeah, congrats on finally landing uh, San Jose. Thank you. Yeah. Got a question to see uh, you guys to make it back to second time. Sacramento? Yeah. I think I'm going to have to come down here for this one. That's all right. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, Sacramento is a great town. We always kill it up there, you know. And you're Ryan Faber's on this card too, so I think there'll be a lot of people from uh, from Sac coming down. But we'll see. It's it's a great place. We love doing fights up there. Dan, hey, Dan, wherever it is from here. Hey, buddy. Hey, this is uh, China. Just want to give a shout out to Melcott and Sporting Goods and SSRD. But um, I just wanted to see nice and the San Jose Sharks. Nice block. Oh, all right. Just wanted to see. Uh, love you, Lindsey Harrison. I uh, just want to see um, how you like in our city so far. I just got here. <laughs> just landed and drove straight here. It's awesome. <laughs> we gotta go check out the firehouse. It's right down the street here. Yeah, you're getting paid today, huh? <laughs> hey, Kung, how's it going? My name is Roger from Stockton, and I represent. Oh, <laughs> um, my question is for Kung, uh, Kung Me. Uh, you and Randall Silva, Silva are uh, two of the most dangerous and exciting stand up fighters in MMA and I think in MMA history. But, and, and this fight could easily be fight of the night or knockout of the night, and you know, I'm looking forward to it. But my question for you is, how are you uh, preparing, how are you preparing for, uh, for, for the brawling style of Vandalay Silva? What kind of training partners are you bringing in? And also, uh, how are you gonna prepare for, his, for him being a black belt in Jiu Jitsu as well? That's a secret. <laughs> Today, the fans are killing the media. <laughs> <laughs> Come back. Hey, Dan, Marcus. How you doing? Hey. Not bad. Question for Dan. Dan, you said uh, Silva didn't want to fight you for some reason. You know, maybe why that reason might be. You don't want to fight wrestlers. I have no idea. I think we both know. <laughs> yeah, everybody could speculate, and I'd be one of those same people. But you know, that, that's. That's the fight that we originally talked about, but uh, evidently he hurt, he hurt himself. Yeah, he, he, he was hurt in that fight. He hurt his shoulder, and uh, he's got bursitis or something, and the doctor had him lay off for eight weeks. Yeah, hey, listen. You, Dan Anderson himself has fought everybody, you know what I mean? It's not like he's ducking fights. He's never ducked a fight, and uh, when he's ready, and if this thing goes right, and if Dan wants to cut that weight, then, uh, then we can talk about Anderson Silva. That's going to be a while. He's got a lot of people to beat in that division. Yep. Hey, Dan. How you doing? Uh, Gabe, Bridge MMA. Um, this question is for Hendo, Shogun, and Vandal, actually. Uh, the UFC is going back to Japan in February, and uh, how would you guys feel about fighting there? You know, I think it'd be fun to go back and, and fight in Japan. You know, it's a, it's a place that I fought many years and, and uh, enjoyed the fans over there. And, and, you know, it'd be kind of fun to get back over there for a fight. As a good for for me in Japan, for me, come one big event back to Japan. And, and say, I, I do good that fight. I hope I, I want to fight there too. 
uh, my fox now in, for the Henderson for 19 November. I I don't know. <laughs> Uh, it's for Shogun. Um, hey Shogun, um, how, did you see, obviously see the Jones fight this weekend and uh, where'd you get up the fight and how many fights did you need to win before you're going to shot the title? É, obviamente você deve ter visto a luta do John Jones esse fim de semana. O que você achou da luta e quantas lutas você acha que você precisa vencer para poder lutar com o John Jones de novo? É, eu vi a luta, eu achei que o Jones ele conseguiu controlar bem a luta e eu não penso no futuro, eu penso em vencer minha próxima luta, vai ser uma batalha. Estou focado na minha próxima luta, não na, 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 na próxima coisa é essa. Então, meu foco é a próxima luta. Yes, I saw the fight. I thought that Jones uh, could pretty much control the fight, fought very well. But uh, right now, I'm focused on my next fight, which is going to be a battle. And uh, I, I won't focus on anything after that or the fight after that. I'm just concerned about my next fight and focusing on my next fight. Thank you. That's a good question, though. We'll do one more with the fans. Who else has got a question? <laughs> we'll do one on this side and one on this side. From Kung Lee. I was wondering if uh, you didn't plan to do any more movies or just stay in the time we'll see. I'd like to see you stay here. We'll go see. I am focused uh, on this fight. Um, so right now it's all about uh, being an MMA fighter. So. Yeah! Woo! Oh, yeah. What's up, Dan? What's up? Um, Andy Montoya, Hayward, uh, future prospect. <laughs> um, uh, I was just wondering, um, when are we going to see Dana White in the UFC and fighting? Tito! 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 I don't want to see that, brother. Uh, I'm old and done, man. I, I, I can't get on a treadmill. Level. Fight Tito! Fight Tito! <laughs> don't get him going, please. <laughs> Hey, uh, Shogun, how do you feel about uh, Rampage calling you out? Que que você do Rampage? Tá ah, eu achei legal, eu acho que o Rampage é um cara que eu gosto muito dele como pessoa também, e... só que eu sei que uma hora ou outra vai ser uma pessoa de novo, então é... eu não sei quando mais vai acontecer, o cara que eu, que eu respeito muito ele, mas eu sei que essa coisa vai acontecer em breve. A pergunta foi, como você se sente Rampage calling you out em Japão? Yeah, and uh, he said, yes, uh, I thought it was pretty cool. Rampage is actually a guy that I like, uh, like a lot as a person, his personality. And uh, I, I think this fight is bound to happen sooner or later down the road at some point. I don't know when, but uh, eventually it will happen, so we'll see. Cool. Another great question. Thank you, guys. Media. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible, you guys. All right. Thank you guys very much. I'm going to pull this out of here. We'll spread these guys off the photo line. <laughs> that NorCal Chronic. Oh, shit, yeah. Hell yeah.